Hey guys, let's see how you can have your camera working on an echo show like this with no time limitation. So usually you have a limitation with cameras like this, like regular cameras, when you have like a Roku camera or Arlo camera, Wise camera or any other camera that you use on your home, for example, like Blink, they have some limitation, okay? When you just ask Alexa to show the camera, there's a time limit, right? Right now, let me just start this timing here. So you see that I have a camera working here on the Echo Show. This is an Echo Show 10, works also with different Echo Shows, and there is no time limit, right? I've been using this camera here for days, and the video is still here, okay? I'm just moving this away, so no rain camera, no blink camera, no wise, no wireless. Why? it doesn't work because you need to have access directly via web browser. Let me just show you this example here. Here is a high vision camera. And with this camera, I can have access directly to the web browser via a computer, for example, okay? So back here, let me just show you how it works. I have a computer and then I have this camera connected to my network. And then I can just access via a web browser. If I come here and type the IP camera here, 35, and then it's going to load here this screen that I can enter the username and password. So here's a admin, and here I'm using a temp pass. Just to test this out, okay? So I can log in and see the image of this camera. I'm talking about the Hike Vision. This is a professional camera, okay? So you see, I have the image of the camera working back there. Then I can do the same with any device that uses a web browser. This Echo Show uses a web browser, for example. So I can do this, okay? And I can also do this with a TV or any device that has a web browser, a tablet, a phone, whatever. Back there, I have a Axis camera. It's a different one. It's also a professional camera. And I'm using this Axis camera here right now, okay? And this works for days, works pretty fine. So let me just move this high vision away here and keep working with the access camera. So I'm going to explain how it works, right? So basically when you have your camera, you have your router as well. Here we go. Just an example is my router is back there. This is just an example. Then you have your camera, professional camera. And then you have an ethernet cable that I can connect my camera to the router, okay? Here, another example of a different camera, professional camera as well. So I have brands like uh, WiseNet camera, I have Axis camera, Hike Vision camera, Dawa camera, all professional cameras. Very, very different from this small wise camera, right? I'm talking about camera that you are going to use, like, let's say, for example, in airports, stadiums, uh, the FBI office, CIA office, things like that, professional, not like the home camera that we have back there, right? Then what I'm going to do is just get the cable here. Let me just move this one side. This is an Ethernet cable. I'm going to connect to my camera. And then I connect to my router. Just like so. Okay, to the Ethernet port here. There we go. And then I connect the other port here to my computer. Then I have the camera, the router, and my computer in the same network. And also my Echo Show. So the Echo Show I can connect to the router via Wi-Fi. The first time they set up the, the Echo Show is going to connect to, to the Wi-Fi, same network, right? Then I can have them working. Why? Because I can just go to this camera and set up the camera for the first time, create a username and a password, the username, you can use the, the one that comes with the camera already, right? But you can just set up a password and then you're gonna have the camera's IP. You're gonna type here the IP on the Echo Show and enter the username and password. And it's good, starts working. Super, super simple, right? If you're not a technical person, I'm gonna show a easy way to do it, right? We just remove this and you see that I have my Axis camera already back there, close to the window, connecting with the cable to my real router and it's working. So I can have access via web browser or let's say it's the first time 
that I'm setting up the camera. Let me just uh, close here and just open this software here, which is the software that finds the camera in the network. For the Axis camera, I have a specific Axis software, Axis IP utility, you see? When I open it up, it looks for the camera in the network, it finds the camera, and I can just click here and have access to the camera. I can come here and hit continue anyway and start working with my device. So if you're not a technical person, don't worry. When you use this software, it's going to find the camera in the network as long as you have, again, computer, router, camera, and your echo showing the same network is going to work. You see here, for example, the software find, found the camera in the network. And here's the IP address, 10.0.0.12. And my computer here is 10.0.0.163. They are in the same IP range, which is 10.0.0. something. Okay? That's why the camera can communicate with the computer and also can communicate here with the Echo Show, right? So where can you find this Axis IP utility? For example, you just go to the Axis website. If you buy an Axis camera, I'm gonna talk about how you can buy this camera in a while, okay? If you buy this camera, for example, you just come here to the Google and you ask for Axis tool, for example, right? Or Axis IP utility tool, that's better. When you type Axis here, where it completes for you, I Access IP Utility Tool. This access here is a professional camera and it's pretty good. This one that I'm using here right now, for example, it has like uh, 15 to 20 years. It's a pretty old camera and it's super, super good because it's a professional camera, okay? We come here and just go to free download and here you see Access IP Utility and you just hit here to download and it downloads download to your computer, you're gonna install it, and later just gonna open, just like I did here. And the first time there you open it up, you have the camera connected to the router, and it's going to find for you. You just hit here, and then it's going to ask you to create a password for the first time they're using the camera. After this, you create a password, you're good to go. Just simple like this. Then you come here, and you type the IP address here on the web browser, okay? Let me just double click here. You see that I can show the URL bar. You see that I have the IP address here, 10.0.0.112, right? That's a web browser. I just have the same web browser that I have here on my computer, but I have here on full screen. It's a, the, the Silk web browser, right? Then I can just come here and make this full screen. And it works for days. Right? So talking about um, Axis cameras, let me just come here and show it to you this. This is not a regular camera that you go buy on Amazon, for example, because it's a professional camera. There, there are some dealers to uh, sell this camera to professional guys. So what you can do is come here to eBay, for example. Let me just show you here. And then you type here, Axis cameras, right? And here you see the price, oh, super expensive, isn't it, right? It's a, it's a professional camera, but I have a lot of different models here. Let me just find one that's cheaper. You see here, 49. Let me just check this model here, P3225, 24, Mark II, that works for sure, 49. So for 49, you can have this DOM camera that works. And believe me, they are super good, right? Even if they are old cameras. Here we have one for 79, but this is an LE. My advice, just don't buy LE camera. They are a different line of camera from Axis. And they don't work as well as this one for this application, okay? So just skip this one. Here you have this LVE, that's different, okay? That's not the same. I'm not talking about this LE camera here, but the LVE, that's different. You can buy this one, 60 bucks. Another one here, 89. Expensive again. If you buy this uh, brand new, it's super expensive. You see the first one here, like uh, 700 bucks. This is used. Can you imagine like a uh, new one? They are super expensive, but super good as well. So just take a look here. 
and you can look for an Axis camera that works for you. 47 bucks, expensive, expensive, 139. Okay, so you can try using a camera like this. Or you can use, let me just bring the box again here, a high vision camera. So high vision is also a professional camera, but it's cheaper than Axis camera. I believe the Axis camera would be better for you, for this application. It works pretty fine and better, but you can also use a high vision camera, for example. Okay. And by the way, we, we have like 10 minutes already and it's still working. See? Works pretty fine. No limitation. You can stay here forever. I'm using this for days. So back here, high vision. You can also uh, look for high vision camera. High vision is more affordable if you come here, like high vision IP cameras, for example. Also works. There we go. So I have here 47. These dual lenses is not good for this application. Okay, so just go to with regular cameras, high vision, high vision, high vision, and it works. And I have a high vision camera already connected here as well, close to the window. So if I come here to my web browser, I can just type the IP address of the high vision camera, which is this one, and then I can log in here admin and my password. Damn, pass. Okay, so see that it's going to load here the image and that's it. So I'm loading via web browser because the camera allows me to connect directly from my computer to the camera via web browser. Allows you to connect directly from your Echo Show to the camera via web browser, from your TV, tablet, phone, whatever uh, device you have a web browser working. Okay, for this one, for example, if you're going to use a high vision, just uh, use the high vision software. If you come to the high vision web page, high vision SADP tool. Okay, that's the tool for the high vision cameras. Remember, if you have access camera, you use a tool to find the access camera in the network. If you have a high vision camera, use a high vision tool to find the camera in the network. So the, for high vision is the SADP. You just hit download here, download for your computer. There's also a version for Mac. And then you open the tool I already have here. You see it scans the network and finds the camera. I already have here as well. Super, super simple. Then you double click here, open for your web page with the IP address already. And the first time that you have this camera here is going to ask you to create a password. Okay, pops up a message here. Hey, create a password. There's no default password for this camera. It's just ask you to create one. Then you just uh, create one. After create the password, just enter here. And you're good to go. It's going to load for you here. And then later, if you want to, you can play with the quality here. When you improve the quality here, we're gonna show the quality work in there as well, right? But there's more professional side of this. If you're like not a te technical person, just put the camera to work and you're good to go, okay? Uh, with high vision here, there's also something uh, important when you come here to configuration. You see a lot of options here, a lot of them, because it's a professional camera. But if you come here to video and audio, you can change the resolution, right? It comes with a high resolution. And if you're trying to use a high vision, it's not gonna work here with the Echo Show. You just need to uh, lower it down the resolution a little bit. So uh, when I was trying before, I was not working with a 4K resolution or something. I just dropped out here to uh, 1280 by 720p and now it works, right? I'm just showing here on the Echo Show as well with the high vision as well. You see here that I'm working for 30, 13 minutes already with the Axis camera, it never stops. There's no limitation. Let me just show the URL bar here and come here. Let me just uh, do this, right? Let me just uh, go home here. Okay. And then when I have the camera ready to work, I set up the camera ready. Then I just need to come here and ask uh, Alexa. Let me just unmute her. Alexa, open silk. Okay, so you open the web browser. Let me just lower down the volume here because uh, the Axis camera can uh, uh, also capture audio, okay? So I hear my own voice here. 
So uh, I was using the Access Key and Receipt when I opened Silk, which is the web browser, Amazon Silk. It just load up the, uh, the web browser with the page that I was using before, which is the Access Camera. And the password is already saved here. And I just need to hit here to play it, right? So it doesn't ask me for the username and password. So I just need to come here and do this. Play it and put on uh, full screen. That's for Access Camera. For High Vision Camera, it's different, right? So you just need to open the browser. Ask uh, to open the browser, Silk Browser. Come here. I was talking about uh, High Vision now, right? It's a different IP. That's the one I was testing before. That's why it's here. 10.0.0.35, which is the same range of my network here. Just open it up and you see here, it asks you for the username and password. On the first time it's going to ask you, and then you can save here on the Silk browser as well. So just tap enter here, add me, and then the password, which I have here is a temp password. Let me just, oops, uh, lowercase here. Temp pass. There we go. It loads up. You see here, save the password. If you hit save here, the next time it's not going to ask you. And then you just come here for Activision here is different. Double click and you see on a web browser. Okay. And it works as well for days, right? You see the quality here. I prefer the Axis camera. The quality here is good, but Axis I think is better. Let me just come here. Of course, you're going to see one at a time, right? Unless you have a DVR that you can make like uh, four, uh, four cams here, right? Back to the Axis, you see, just insert a new IP here, which is 112, the, the, the last part of the IP, and I'm good to go. Shows up on a full screen here, and it's working, right? And you see, it works and works pretty fine. Guys, this is a workaround to have on the camera working here with no limitation. Let's say, for example, you have a baby or a pet, you just need to keep a, an eye on them. And you have this Echo Show 10, Echo Show 8, or a TV with a web browser. You can try this. Just go there, buy a high vision or Axis camera. I prefer Axis, right? And then you can have it working like this. Just connect the camera, as I explained here, to your router. Make sure everybody's in the same network. Let me just uh, show here that I have uh, everything here for you, right? So first step is connect the IP camera to the router using a cable, for example. If you have an, a, a Wi-Fi camera, it also works as long as the Wi-Fi connects to the camera, but IP camera works uh, with cable. Professional camera works pretty fine with cable. Then you connect the PC to the same router, okay? And then you set up the camera when you download the software from the manufacturer, set up the camera, check the network, if they are in the same network, open Silk in the Echo Show, enter the IP camera and IP and password, okay? And then starts working, okay? So super, super simple. So that's the way you can have it working. I hope that helps. Leave your comments here if it works for you. And if you're trying, if it's not working, just uh, ask the questions here. Leave your thumbs up because this is a hard video to do. I'm doing it for you. So just leave your thumbs up there and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.